A one-of-a-kind distillery is now open in Hood River. Yeah, Io Elise is here in studio giving us a tour of Wilderton Botanical Spirits. So uh, how was that visit for you, Io? Yeah, it was really, really fun. So Wilderton is making non is known for making non-alcoholic spirits, and now the brand is leading the way with a new distillery that just opened up last month, and it's the only one of its kind in the U.S. All right, so here is the production cellar. It's kind of the heart of of you know where we make Wilderton. Wilderton is now welcoming guests to its distillery and tasting room on the Hood River waterfront. And though it's a distillery, you won't find a drop of alcohol here. We like to think of non-alcoholic spirits of being in two kind of broad categories. Uh, there are the analogs, which you know would, would say non-alcoholic gin or non-alcoholic whiskey, non-alcoholic tequila. We don't actually do that. We make a new category of non-alcoholic spirits. And it's the only distillery in the country that exclusively produces non-alcoholic spirits. This is where we carry out distillation. Seth O'Malley is the co-founder and founding distiller of Wilderton. People around here take hospitality very seriously. Uh, but we find, we've found historically that when people go to a bar and they're looking for, the, you know, a cocktail that doesn't have alcohol, bartenders, haven't always had the best tools to do that. So O'Malley, along with co-founder Brad Whiting, gave them three options to add to the bar. The luster you can mix with tonic and you have a great uh, sort of gin and tonic-like drink. We've got our earthen, um, which is more akin to like an aged spirit uh, with a lot of uh, spice and complexity to it. And then we have our bittersweet aperitivo, which is uh, something that you can mix with soda and have, you know, like an Italian style bitter spritz. And to create these unique flavors, the distiller uses his knowledge of alcoholic spirits along with herbs and botanicals. What you see here is a small subset of the ingredients we work with and modified distillation equipment that can handle the delicate ingredients. So this is where we load in things like rose petals and lemongrass and bitter orange peel and spices. The distillery and tasting room gives Wilderton the chance to produce its spirits under its own roof for the first time since its founding in November 2020. O'Malley says that it makes all the difference when it comes to experimentation and giving people a taste of how their spirits are made. There is a great community of people here that is excited about what we're doing, that's open to new flavor experiences. And, you know, in that sense, I like to think that we fit into that really special culinary tradition of Oregon and the Pacific Northwest. And it's official. My new favorite drink is earthen and ginger ale. It was so good. Mm. And you can stop by their tasting room every day from noon to six. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you. Mm.